Izzy, good to see you. You want some lunch? I'm meeting somebody. Anybody I know? Actually, I don't even know him. You never met? Know what he looks like? So for all you know, he can be an older, rugged, ex-Marine looking dude. Dr. Stevens? Mr. Duquette. Please, call me Denny. You're a very pretty girl. Not Denny's type at all. Really? What was his type? Um, Dark-haired girl, smart. Uh, well, not that you're not smart. You're a doctor, obviously. I was. I was a doctor. I'm not anymore. Oh, that's right. Dr. Weber said you'd quit. And... You talked to Dr. Weber? Uh, yes, and said that well, if I wanted to hear the whole story, I should talk to you. So if you don't mind, Dr. Stevens. Is he? Is he? If you don't mind, I need to hear the whole story. The transplant went better than anyone expected. He was better. He was so much better. But Denny, um, before the surgery, he was hooked up to a machine called... You're not a... answering my question. I'm trying. I I'm getting there. It, it was complicated. His heart I was... don't give a damn about the medicine. I know what killed my son. He had a bad heart. He had a bad heart for a long time. I get that. What I don't get is how a girl like you goes from being my son's doctor to to his fiance on the very day he's supposed to get a new heart. What I don't get is how you got him to propose to you hours before he died. Mr. Ducat, Denny and I, he, he was my patient for months. And the minute he died, you quit your job. Because I couldn't. Four years in medical school. Now that's a whole lot of debt. How are you planning on paying that back? Huh? Did you think that Denny would pay for everything? Why are you... What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about protecting my son. But where were you when he needed you? Because I was there the whole time. I was there. I was working 80-hour weeks, and I was still always there. He had so many surgeries, so many procedures. He was so scared. Where were you then? Where were you? You may not get me. But you don't have to, because I don't get you either. I don't get how a father abandons his dying wait, son. Wait, wait. Is that what he told you? That I, that his mother and I abandoned him? Well, he didn't tell you the truth. 